Adobe has come out with their own AI tool, Firefly, and it is finally available. Or rather, I should say it's finally available to me. It came out like over a month ago, and I noticed other people said they applied for the beta and they got in like that night. Uh, mine definitely took the whole month. I literally just got the email a couple seconds ago. I will show you how to sign up for it. I think it's just like when Adobe Express came out, it was free. And then there were certain features that they made only available to paid subscribers. And I believe that will be the same case now. Right now, it looks like they're just trying to build out the tool. So I'm going to show you how to sign up for that, uh, where to, what it can do. And we're going to test some things out for planners and stickers and card decks and see if it's even a tool worth using. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create pretty pages using Adobe InDesign and Canva and also AI tools recently. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday or extra videos like today because I'm just really excited. I don't know, it's been like a good video week. I even filmed another one that's coming out tomorrow. It's an unboxing of card decks. Step one is to sign into your Adobe account and don't worry, it is free. You don't need a paid Adobe Creative Cloud or any of those applications in order to have an Adobe account. Over here, you're going to go to firefly.adobe.com and then you're going to say request access. I don't know how long it takes. Mine took like, an, I just said over a month. Other people said they got it like within a couple hours. So you can also join the Discord and don't worry, the Discord is not like mid journey where you have to put prompts in. This is actually what I think Discord was meant for. It's for a conversation. They have some announcements from Adobe, FAQs, tips and tricks, um, share your work. And then there's different languages. If you speak Chinese, Korean, French, you can chat in those languages as well as ask some questions, features and ideas. You'll get your welcome email from Adobe letting you know that you're in for Firefly. And this time when you log in, you won't see request beta. You'll actually see this little, uh, I guess, chemistry beaker. And then you, again, it's the same link to join the Discord as before. There's basically just three different things that you can do in here. You can do text to image, text effects, and recolor vectors. And when it says vectors, they mean SVG files. Now, I don't use SVG files. So I actually had to go to um, lovesvg.com to download some free ones just to try it out because I'm just not an SVG girl. So what I really like about this is it's not like mid journey. You don't have to go into some silly thing like Discord. It all works right here on the website. Now, if you scroll down here, um, you're going to see it says in exploration. Um, I think all of these are they're just trying to give you a teaser of what they're working on for uh, the future, which Again, very excited to see how it works out. If you're wondering where these images come from and where they learned it, it's based on Adobe stock images, openly licensed content, as well as public domain uh, where the copyright has expired. So if you go over to Adobe stock, you can see different images. And that's also, it seems obvious that's where Adobe's pulling things to teach Firefly how to make images. So let's go back to the first one, text to images. Over here, you're gonna see um, some pretty cool images. Obviously they've picked what they think are the best. And then you could try out these prompts. If you're not sure what words like will make uh, any of these items, as you know, I like kitty cats. So we're gonna try this mysterious cat. All you have to do is go down here and say, try prompt. And it's gonna try it for you now. When it says try prompt, that really means it's going to ask you if you want to change any things. So I could instead do a landscape um, or I could change this. It says none right here, but we could change this to photo, graphic, or art. So I don't really like the landscape. I'm going to go back to portrait. Uh, and then I can say graphic, which kind of looks the same as does photo and art. So what you really want to change down here are the styles. So if we just go ahead and say all, we can pick out different styles. So maybe I want a fantasy. I like sci-fi. Um, I like pop art. I like cyberpunk. I like hyper-realistic. Um, what else do I think might look cool? Uh, bold lines. Um, and again, all of these things that I'm picking out, I can say chaotic. Uh, beautiful. You're going to see all of these down below. So if I decided I didn't want something, I could just simply hit this X and it'll go away. Uh, and then I can go ahead and say general. So it doesn't look too different, but let's say there's one of these images I really like. So over here you have the wavy line and I can just say show similar and it will now replace the other images to the left and right with something else. Over on the bottom right, I'm also hiding some other options, color and tone. So we could say vibrant colors. Um, lighting, we could say studio lighting, composition, we could say shot from above. 
Uh, and then we could try that again. Maybe we get rid of chaotic, old lines, hyper-realistic, cyberpunk, pop art. And these are pretty vibrant already, so let's try pastel color. All right, I don't know if it really got pastel. All right, these are kind of cute. I think they're maybe not as good as Mid Journey, but they're not bad. Um, it's so deceiving because when you look at the um, samples they have out there, they're so good. Um, it's very confusing. Okay, so for color, we're gonna say again, pastel. And we'll try it again. All right, I don't like those images at all. So we're actually gonna get out of this tool. Let's look at some of these other ones. Um, clearly the prompts that are being used in these other ones seem to be much better because the results seem a lot prettier. I don't know, this is super vibrant, a magical wonderland. I would have never thought to put that prompt in there. Um, so uh, let's try that. A magical wonderland with cute kittens and puppies playing together. All right, clearly it was like, we're gonna put one puppy in there and the rest you're gonna get is kittens. But I did like it. This kitten face looks a little smushed and creepy. Not sure why that happened, um, but it almost veers into, these faces look kind of scary too. So again, I don't know, it looks a little, it's like good, but not the best. Let's just see if it can make sticker images for us. So cute kittens. Uh, clip art. All right, maybe kind of, sort of. Um, we will say office supply. And we also got very mediocre results. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I don't know where those other images are coming from or what's going on, but the ones that are in this demo are night and day from the results that I'm getting. Not even sure what's happening. So let's go ahead and jump to another tool, text effects. Now this is exciting because Midjourney does not do text uh, at all and it doesn't do it well. And for sure it doesn't do text effects. So I think this is really where Adobe shines. They have, again, different examples that you can pick and choose and kind of put your own words in. So if you really like any of these images, so maybe the fur you really like, you can put your own words over here in the fur so we could say, now there are also different styles here, so we could change it all around. This was the original, here's three. And then over on the right, there's some sample prompts. So if you really like flowers, outline, and you can change the font. So if we do view all, you can change, it looks like within this limited set. So let's try more of a serif font and you can change the colors. Because when I go to say to change text color, it basically just kind of adds a little different kind of color, but it definitely did not make this green. But this yellow color worked out a little better. So I'm going to say the text effects tool is my favorite. So now you can, this was a pink gold balloon. We can change this out too. And we could say English garden vines and flowers. And does that not look amazing? So. That's the second tool. Let's head back over here. And the third tool is this text to this vector art. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take some vector art. We're gonna upload it over here. And now we're gonna go ahead and say, what do I wanna do with these cats? Um, I'm gonna say pink and I'm gonna say hot pink and emerald green and gold. And I believe the only thing you can do with this is really just change the colors. Gold clearly was too much for this. Maybe it just needs two colors. Also some prompts over here we could try out. Sushi, sandstone blue, dark blue, trippy disco, summer by the, I don't even know what that is, <laughs> lavender. So if you remember the Adobe color wheel, it has all of these monochromatic, triad, complementary, it also has that inside of Firefly. So when you go down here to the default, you have complementary, we have analogous, we have triad, and split complementary, as well as square. And then over here at the bottom, it looks like we can change by just picking out a new palette. So, and it looks like it just kind of picks some other colors on its own. Again, I guess if you wanted to just try out some colors really quick, um, you could do that as well. So, all right, to recap, there are three tools in here that you can use. The text to image kind of felt like a bait and switch. All of the images that they have as examples were fabulously amazing. And all of the images I tried to generate were kind of meh. Clip art, awful, terrible elements. 
some of the faces kind of remind me of Canva AI where it like distorts them. So I think it's still in the very early stages. Uh, Mid Journey is still way better for images. Text effects, awesome. Mid Journey cannot do text effects, but this is really where Adobe Firefly shines and I was super impressed and thought all of them were gorgeous. And then recolor vectors, not very impressive, but again, I don't work a lot with SVG uh, vector files. So if I did, maybe I would be more in awe of it. So answering their original question, can this help you make planners or stickers? I'm gonna say no. What it can do though, is it can 100% help you with text effects to create that for logos, or if you just want a banner or anything else, it is hands down the coolest tool that I have seen so far for AI in relation to text. All right, that's a wrap, and I will see everybody tomorrow for an unboxing. Music